Hi, everybody. We are back with Joan again from Joan Butts Bridge. Hey, Joan. Hi, Bashir. How are you? Doing good. Excited for another video about opening leads. Uh, we just did a video about opening leads against no trumps. What are we looking at here? We're looking today at opening leads against suit contracts. And we need to generally be more aggressive in our thinking when we're making opening leads against suit contracts because declarer can trump us. You know, we can't, we haven't got hours to be developing our long suits because declarer will trump as soon as they don't have any cards left. So there's sort of different thinking required for leading uh, against suits. Mm, mm. Right. If uh, declarer has a singleton or a void in our best suit, suddenly our winners become useless. Exactly. Right. That's why it's a good idea to have a trump suit when you've got a lot of cards of one suit and not many cards of another. That's mm. why, you know, it is a good idea. So do we want to have a look at this hand? Here we go. So I just loaded it up. It is So this is a hand from your online school of bridge in the lessons on leads against Trump suits. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, it is. I've got a few lessons on that, basic lessons and then a little more advanced lessons. Okay. But um, it all comes down to the same thinking, really. So looking at this hand, uh, what do you think of your hand? Can you see it, Bajir? Yes, it's a lovely hand. It's Four, a very nice five, hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 points. 14 mm. high card points, mm. it's already opened, mm. but uh, we definitely want to do something. Yeah, but look at what East opened. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So yeah. East opened our best suit as well. Exactly. So when they do, it's actually a good idea to pass. Ah. Because, yeah, because some hands you would like to play ah. and other hands you'd like to defend. Well, with King, Queen, Jack and another of their hearts, it looks like we'd like to defend this hand. <laughs> right. We would love to play in hearts. Yeah, exactly. Thank or you for asking like... for the dance, East. Hey? We'd be happy to dance, East. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we'll make a very quiet little pass here. <laughs> Holding in a little smirk. Mm. Okay. So and... West takes it to no trumps and East bids again with two yeah. diamonds. Yeah. So what do you think West's got? What kind of strength does a one no trump response tell us? Usually it shows about six to 10, plus West is also a past hand. Um, and, and it also means that West does not want to support East. That is a very, very important point, Bajir. It denies a heart fit. Denies a heart fit. Yeah, so you can be sure that West will not have three hearts. They'll have two or fewer hearts. Um, and so what do you think Declara would, this hand here, East would have? So East bid again. So is that telling us that East has five hearts and four diamonds? Mm, five hearts and at least four diamonds. At least four and, diamonds. Yeah, and it's sort of logical that... When you're five of one and four of another or five of one and five of another, it makes sense when partners responded a no trump to actually try another suit because mm. if they don't have a fit in hearts, they might have a fit in diamonds or at uh -huh. least they'll show us what they want to play in. Mm. So we be quiet again. We quietly pass. And they've found a fit in diamonds and they just want to play three diamonds. Mm. So before we make the opening lead, what would be your thoughts about what to lead on this hand? Hmm. So diamonds are the trump suit. We have some fantastic cards, um, but we also... You know, there's something that is, is coming into my head as one of the guidelines that us learners can use about opening leads, which is yeah. top of a sequence. But yeah. I'm, I forget why, why it's so helpful. So I do see we have that lovely sequence. 
Yeah. In my head, I'm hearing top of a sequence, but I forget yeah. why. Um, well, top of a sequence usually allows us to promote our lower honours. So leading top of a sequence like the king here, mm. whoever's got the ace will win it and then it'll turn our queen and jack into winners. But there's a bit of a problem on this hand because we already know that east has five hearts, we've got four, west doesn't like hearts. <laughs> so, yeah. So if we project our thinking a bit, it uh, is we are never going to turn the queen and the jack into winners because if West is short in hearts and has mm. two, what are they going to do when we play the queen and the jack? They're just going to trump right on top of our queen and jack that we've spent our lovely king trying to set up. That is exactly right. So... Thinking about the other possible lead, we could lead the Ace of Spades. We could lead the Four of Clubs. Mm. Um, they're a bit, you know, a bit of a question mark. We don't know whether that would turn out to be a good lead or not. We don't know where the Ace and Queen of Clubs are. We don't know where the King and Queen of Spades are. But mm. there's, there's one thinking that is that comes to mind on this hand where... If we've got this length in hearts and mm. good hearts mm. and we know for sure that West is going to trump hearts after about one round or two, mm. then sometimes it's a good idea to actually, believe it or not, lead a trump. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Why? Why would we want to lead Trumps here? Because the for the very fact that we've got strength in the long suit, East's got five hearts. Mm. Well, if we've got King, Queen, Jack and another heart, what's East going to do with all their losing hearts? They right. are going to trump them. Right. We want to take away their ability to rough. We, we want to take Declarer's ability to rough uh, exactly. those long hearts. Exactly. So let's, let's lose our losing trump cards early. Yeah. And take well, away the trumps from both of them. Exactly. We want them to play two trumps at once as well. Oh, Joan, your lessons are so good. Well, <laughs> Declare is playing trumps, which is quite unusual, and I think we might get them here. I think we might be able to beat them here. So the now fact that they, they so Declare decided to draw trumps. It, it might be interesting to try playing this hand from Declare's seat and to see it what would be. happen if you would try cross roughing. Well, Bajia, if I think whoever follows this hand, it would be a very good idea to play it from the north seat because when the defenders lead your suit, which mm. is trumps and diamonds, it's mm. usually not a good idea to lead them yourself. Mm. So, mm. Bill, now let, let's let let declare a trump this king of hearts with the diamond, but all it's done is promote our queen. And all it's going to do is shorten their Because it was trick. a... Ah, <laughs> so cool, so cool. Isn't it amazing? So we know that, that we've now made another heart. Now it's quite right. hard um, hard to know what to do. When they played a spade up to the king, we won the ace. Look, we'll try the club, but I'm not sure how it'll go. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Not only did it. Did oh, we lucky, lucky. Wow. Now we'll try the third club. And see if Declare still has. Wow. They, are, they had one left, one heart left, mm. and now they're going to make their spade. But guess what? We beat, we beat them. Yeah. Mm. So it's very hard to see sometimes when to lead a trump. And some people say, oh, when in doubt, lead a trump. Well, that's not 
I don't subscribe to that. Mm. I say leave it Trump when you know that there's a long suit with declarer and they're not playing with that suit as Trump's and you've got strength in that long suit because, mm. you see, um, ah, really, brilliant. yeah, interesting that we were able to beat that hand. Ah, really, really interesting. So and when would we want to, uh, defending, when would we want to lead the Trump suit? I'm just trying to paraphrase so I could plug it right into my brain. Okay. Um, Only when uh, Declara mm. shows two suits and they do not want to play in their first suit and we've got strength in their first suit. Mm, um, mm. The idea is that the only way they'll avoid losers with their little long suit is if they can trump them. So mm. if we can take the trumps out, they can't trump it. <laughs> ah, very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Ah, thank you, Joan. Good. Well, we'll be sure to uh, link to your online school of bridge so that any viewers can um, head over to your fantastic site to check it out. And um, yeah, for anyone watching, if you have questions about this or playing hands, if you find yourself in this uh, situation with a hand at your bridge club, please let us know. Maybe we could recreate the hand and um, play it in a follow-up video. Yeah, right, okay. Um, thanks, Bajir. My only Last little word I'd like to mm. say about leading between no trumps and suits is I think you've already mentioned it too. You generally have to be more aggressive when you're leading against suit contracts. So you can't wait to develop your long suit because you never will. So, you know, getting your tricks, taking your tricks early and trying to stop declarer making their tricks is the way to go. That's such a helpful contrast. Just thinking about, right, be more aggressive, grab the winners earlier when you're playing against opponents who can trump your good cards. Yeah. Versus yeah. if we're playing on a level playing field, we can take a little more time. Yeah. To develop okay. along the suit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Joan, thank you everyone. Till next thank time. Yeah, bye. Bye bye.